To mark 75 years of air traffic control, I was invited to the FAA's Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center in Oklahoma City to experience being an air traffic controller. About a thousand students train at the FAA Academy each year. I got a chance to use some of the technology and tools the students use in their training. What we do here at the Academy is it's their initial training that takes place to get them on the roads and give them the basics to be in an air traffic controller and then from there it'll take them anywhere from a year to three years actually to be a certified uh, controller out in the field. And so what we focused on today is our tower training or the tower option and in the first room that we were, we were in what we call it the tabletops. It's our low fidelity simulation. Um, the students will, will be in that room roughly about three weeks into their training as a tower controller. They've spent a lot of time in academics. It's their first exposure to the phraseology, first exposure to uh, really uh, putting the rules to practice. And it's an opportunity for uh, the students to uh, learn priorities, learn some of the basics that's needed. And then from there, they'll go through a series of progression and learning and spend uh, uh, just under two weeks doing that type of training. Academy Tower, runway 28 right. Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. There we go. Now we listen. That'll pro progress them down here into the high fidelity uh, simulation labs, which has a realistic feel to them. They'll spend uh, about three weeks down here working on the simulated traffic here. Um, and it gets exposure to all situations, emergency, go-arounds, any type of situation that they might encounter as an air traffic controller, we can simulate down here. Citation 653 Papa November. Runway 28 left. Runway 28 left. Clear to land. Clear to land. We can simulate uh, rain, snow, daytime, nighttime, winds, any type of environment, emergencies. So it's a true exposure. It's an opportunity for them to work the traffic to make decisions and if they make mistakes it's not it's not costly in anybody's life but that's how students learn um, some of the greatest learning takes place when you don't always do it correctly and so it's an opportunity for them to do that uh, in this type of environment but since it is pass fail it is still a stressful environment for the students and uh, um, as they go through we're projected to do about a thousand a year new hires for the next 10 years um, Back in uh, 07 and 08, uh, there were as many as 2,000 uh, brand new air traffic controllers that were coming through the academy on, in a yearly basis.